What if a story older than any written history was quietly waiting inside you? What if the map of human migration, the echoes of civilizations long gone, were not inscribed on clay or stone, but carried silently in your blood? This is the story of Somali DNA. Somewhere in the burning plains and rugged coasts of the Horn of Africa, a secret sleeps. Not in manuscripts, not in monuments, not in the songs of poets, but in the people themselves. Their genetic code is a living chronicle, older and more intricate than any archive, telling a tale of survival, adaptation, and unbroken continuity. I remember the first time I encountered this revelation. Late one night, buried in an obscure genetic study, I came across a line that stopped me mid-breath. Somali DNA holds traces of human movement unmatched anywhere else in the world. At first, it felt impossible. A single people preserving a genetic legacy that spans tens of thousands of years, resilient and remarkably intact. Imagine it. Winds sweeping across the horn for 20,000 years, carrying whispers of migrations, of people who wandered long before empires, before cities, before the first written word. Picture faces weathered by sun and sand, proud, luminous, carrying within them a blueprint untouched by time. Every strand of DNA remembers stories we have long forgotten. While empires rose and fell, oceans shifted and cities crumbled, the people of Somalia preserved something extraordinary, a living testament to the earliest crossroads of Africa and Eurasia, quietly surviving in a land of extremes. And yet, how many truly know about it? How many realize that inside Somali blood runs a chapter of human history older than any book? older than the first civilizations. Step on to the arid plains of Somalia, and it feels as if time itself pauses. The sun scorches the earth, winds whip across the dunes, and yet life endures. But the true story isn't just in the land, it's in the people who have walked it for thousands of years. Across Somalia, from the harsh north to the river-fed south, one thing becomes clear. The Somali people are astonishingly unified, genetically speaking. Despite vast distances and varied landscapes, their DNA remains singular, a rare continuity in a world where populations are constantly shifting and blending. How did this happen? The answer lies in the ancient structure of Somali society, the clan. For countless generations, marriages were not casual choices, they were sacred duties. Cousins marrying cousins, clans intertwining like threads in an intricate tapestry, preserving history and heritage with every union. Each child born was another stitch in a living mosaic, binding the past to the present. This genetic homogeneity isn't the sign of isolation. It's a monument to endurance. It is a strategy that defied invasions, droughts, famine, and migrations. Every chromosome sings a story of resilience. Every inherited trait a marker of survival. Imagine trying to preserve memory not in stone, not in art, but in blood. This is what Somali DNA has achieved. But the story doesn't stop at preservation. To understand the real mystery, we must look deeper to the ancient fires that shaped the very foundation of this DNA. The truth is stranger than fiction. It's a tale of continents colliding, of people moving in ways that defy modern imagination a fusion that occurred tens of thousands of years ago, long before kingdoms, agriculture, or cities. To grasp the uniqueness of Somali DNA, we must travel back in time, farther than most histories dare to go. Picture two worlds, 
Africa, and Eurasia, separated by deserts, oceans, and millennia, yet destined to meet, not through conquest or empire, but quietly in the very blood of a people who would endure. Genetic studies reveal a remarkable fusion. Somali DNA is roughly 60% East African and 40% West Eurasian. But these numbers alone don't capture the true wonder. This is not the DNA of recent traders or medieval empires. It is ancient, pre-agricultural, a branch of humanity that diverged tens of thousands of years ago. Around 23,000 years ago, long before the pyramids, before the first civilizations rose, a group of ancient humans carrying Eurasian genes crossed the Red Sea and entered the Horn of Africa. They didn't conquer, they became part of the land itself. Their footsteps vanished from history, but their genetic imprint endured, weaving itself into the destiny of Somalia forever. This Eurasian lineage, unique to the Somali and neighboring Ethio-Somali populations, predates most modern civilizations. It is older than agriculture, older than cities, and in many ways untouched by the rise and fall of empires. While elsewhere humanity was building, expanding, and migrating, the people of Somalia were preserving a living memory of human movement a genetic whisper of a world that no longer exists. And yet the paradox grows deeper. While the Somali paternal lineage, traced through the Y chromosome, was almost entirely East African, a silent, unbroken monument of ancestry passed from father to son for tens of thousands of years, yet the maternal DNA sings a different song. Mitochondrial studies show that Somali women carry genes from far beyond the Horn of Africa, remnants of Eurasian travelers who arrived long before recorded history. This duality is stunning. The fathers anchored to their ancient land, the mothers bringing distant memories, blending these threads into a tapestry of resilience. This was not accidental. This was survival. This was evolution, orchestrated through generations. Somali DNA preserves a paradox, remarkable internal unity paired with a rich, hybrid maternal heritage. It's a living record of human journeys, of movements across oceans and deserts, of survival strategies lost to time but encoded in blood. The Horn of Africa became a theater of human endurance and connection a place where extremes of climate and isolation shaped not only culture, but the very molecules of life. And yet, this is just the beginning. For the Somali people, survival was not only about ancestry, it was about adapting to a land that challenges every breath, every step, every heartbeat. The desert, the sun, the unpredictable rains, all became forces shaping the human genome itself. The story of Somali DNA is also a story of extraordinary adaptation. Living for millennia in one of the harshest climates on Earth, the Somali people did not simply survive, they evolved, rewiring their biology to endure droughts, blazing sun, and scarce resources. One of the most remarkable adaptations lies in the ability to digest milk well into adulthood. Unlike many populations, Somali people carry unique versions of lactase persistence genes. While Europeans developed their own mutations for digesting dairy, Somali ancestors evolved separate genetic solutions, a testament to independent ingenuity and survival. A simple glass of milk in this context becomes a symbol of human innovation encoded in DNA. But the adaptations go far deeper Genes regulating salt balance and hydration, like ADP1A1 and AQP2, show distinct selection in Somali populations. These genetic markers are more than just survival tools. They are living evidence of an intimate relationship with the land. Every cell, every gene, every inherited mutation tells the story of ancestors learning to thrive where the environment is relentless. 
Even skin pigmentation is part of this evolutionary narrative. Genes such as SLC24A5 and SLC45A2 balance protection from ultraviolet radiation with the retention of critical nutrients, like folate. Somali skin reflects both beauty and function, a living interface between human biology and a demanding environment. But adaptation didn't stop at metabolism or pigmentation. Somali DNA carries rare pharmacogenetic variants, subtle mutations that influence how medicines work in their bodies. What modern medicine calls a standard dose may behave differently for Somali patients, shaped by the cumulative pressures of millennia of survival. Evolution designed bodies ready for deserts, not for modern processed foods or sedentary life revealing both triumph and irony in the story of adaptation. In every lath of a Somali child, in every stride across sun-bleached dunes, in every pulse of life under the merciless sun, we witness the culmination of tens of thousands of years of adaptation. Somali DNA is not just a record, it is a living manual of survival, a guide forged by necessity and perfected over generations. Adaptation, however, comes with its own paradox. The very genes that allowed Somali ancestors to survive ice ages, desert heat, and scarcity now carry hidden vulnerabilities in the modern world. Survival wasn't free. It was written into every molecule of their bodies, sometimes at an invisible cost. One striking example lies in type 1 diabetes. Studies show that a staggering 93% of Somali children with this condition carry the same rare genetic risk variant. It's not just a statistic, it's a legacy of survival. The same genetic adaptations that once enabled endurance in harsh deserts now make Somali descendants uniquely sensitive to modern lifestyles, diets, and environments. And it doesn't stop there. Unlike many African populations, Somali people have almost no sickle cell trait, a reflection of malaria's limited historical impact in the horn. Environment shaped not only their survival strategies, but also the very susceptibility of their bodies to disease. Each gene, each mutation is a decision made over thousands of generations, a silent record of ancestors responding to the elements, to scarcity, to life itself. Even modern medicine faces challenges. Variants and Somali genes mean that standard treatments designed for European or Asian bodies often behave differently. Drugs that save lives elsewhere may not perform the same way in Somali patients, a reminder that adaptation is context-specific. Evolution prepared bodies for deserts, not for modern antibiotics, processed foods, or urban living. Yet despite these hidden costs, the Somali story is one of resilience. Every child running through the dunes, every woman balancing water jugs on her head, every family preserving traditions across centuries, these are living testaments to a lineage that has endured droughts, famines, invasions, and pandemics. Somali DNA is a chronicle of struggle and triumph, a story written not in ink, but in chromosomes. And it is far from a closed chapter. This living genome continues to evolve, adapting silently as modern challenges collide with ancient survival strategies. Somali DNA is both archive and laboratory, a record of what humanity has endured and a hint about how it might endure in the future. Somali DNA is more than a record of one people. It is a window into the story of all humanity. It tells us where we came from, how we survived, and the extraordinary lengths our ancestors went to to endure a world that was often unforgiving. Every gene carries whispers of journeys across deserts, seas, and generations, stories that no history book could ever fully capture. Standing in Somalia today, watching children run across sun-baked plains or herders guiding camels through endless dunes, it becomes clear this isn't just survival, it's triumph. A triumph encoded in every cell, every heartbeat, every strand of DNA, 
echoing a lineage older than pyramids, older than empires, older than time. And as we look at our reflections, perhaps we begin to see something deeper. The story of Somali DNA reminds us that our history is not only in books or monuments, it is in our bodies, in the legacies carried silently across generations, in the resilience of life itself. So next time you think about ancestry, about human history, remember this, the secrets hidden in Somali blood are not theirs alone, they belong to all of us. Because to understand one people is to understand the story of humanity itself. If this journey into the hidden world of Somali DNA fascinated you, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another story that rewrites the past and illuminates our shared future.